that was my yearbook <laughs> from last year. So, I was looking at my yearbook this morning, and I was looking at all the nice things my friends had written, and looking at all the different clubs and sports and that kind of thing. And I was just thinking, what does it mean? What, like, what characteristics do you have to have for your little group of friends to qualify as a clique? Let's see. Number one, you have to have the head honcho, the leader, the one who always tells everyone else what to do. Then, two, you have to have the three or four main followers of that one person to make up your little group. And then, you add on more people after that, and it becomes a click. But without those four or five people, your little group won't last long. I've realized that. That if you don't have a leader, a strong leader, and some followers, and get it started, you won't have anything. What do you mean by that? Like, let's see. We have... The football boys, the basketball boys, the basketball girls, the soccer boys, the soccer girls, the baseball boys, the softball girls, the volleyball girls, the cheerleading squad, football and basketball. Um, we have the band, we have math and science, French club, Spanish club, FCLA, uh, no, FCA, FCCLA, there we go, um, Beta Club, Drama Club, um, let's see what else is in here, I'm totally forgetting something, um, there we go, here's all the clubs, Art, 4-H, Spanish, uh, French, Beta, Skills, FBLA, Drama, the paper staff, the library staff, FFA, FCCLA, got it right. Interact, Science and Math Club, HOSA, Student Council, Band, that's me, um, Chorus, Yearbook Staff, All kinds of stuff, right? All different kinds of clubs, all different kinds of people, all different kinds of cliques that mingle within those clubs. But I see sometimes that if you're not in that club at the particular moment, or if you like see someone in the hall, like, okay, I said that wrong. Like, it's totally different if you're talking to someone on Facebook chat or on the phone or. In, in that club as it would be to talk to them in the hall. It's totally different. Because around... Because then they're around most of their friends and sometimes they don't want to talk to you. Trust me, I've had experience with this. And I'm like, um, is that the same person that I just talked to last night on the phone? Is that the same person that I just sent a message to on Facebook chat? Is that the same person that I talked to the other day at lunch? Like that, those kind of things really make me mad. Like, they're totally two different people when they're around your friends and when they're around you. But then, the thing I hate the most is when certain people put down others because they have more money, or a better car, or a better house, or their parents have a magic last name and they think there's something special. That kind of thing. So, it doesn't matter what your last name is. For all people, we all deserve respect. And I know some of you will say, well, that's ironic coming from you because some of you know what happened in October and what I said to some people. But I realize that you can't change the past. But trust me, if we could change the past, we'd all go back and change something, right? But, like I said, we can't change the past, so the only thing we can do is move forward, go to the future, and look ahead. Well, I sound like a Hallmark card. Anyway, just look to the future, and pretty much that's it. We can't go back and change anything. 
<laughs> Believe me, if we could, I'd go back to October and erase that month from my memory. October 2011. No, 2010. There we go. It was probably one of the worst months of my entire life. But, you know what I've learned from it? To be careful what you say. Especially on a social networking site like Facebook. That's all I'm going to say. If you don't want anyone to read it, don't post it. People will read it, and people will comment on it, and people will bash you, and people will call you rude names, and that kind of thing. But that's another topic for another video. I was talking about high school cliques in this one, and I have, I have friends in all the cliques, and I'm thankful to the Lord above that they actually talk to me in the hallway, and that kind of thing. But some of my friends that they don't talk to very much in the hall or on a daily basis at school but they'll talk to them on the phone or via text message that kind of thing to me that's really hurtful that's really two-faced if you're going to talk to someone talk to them both times but um I probably totally screwed that up and I hope y'all got something out of that because I totally just said what was on my mind but hopefully y'all got something out of that instead of me just blabbering on and on and on but, if you haven't watched my first video, go and watch that. It's called Greetings YouTubers. It's on my page. Um, like, I, like I said in the other video, in the info, I'm sorry about the bad light quality. I didn't have my overhead light turned on because I thought the sun coming through the window would be enough. But it wasn't. So I turned the light on today. I hope you're proud of me. But, um, this video was about high school clicks. So just tell me what you want to see in the next video. Peace, YouTubers.